What's up guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. So if you guys have been following some recent posts on my channel, you guys will know that uh, my RTX 2080 right here, this thing decided to kind of the bed on me. And uh, I've been testing it a, with a couple of different things and trying to figure out what could possibly be wrong with it. But as far as I'm concerned right now, uh, I've pretty much tried everything that I can think of. So uh, I'm gonna probably have to go through the RMA process and try to see if I can get a replacement. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys with me and I'm gonna show you guys if EVGA's warranty service or RMA service is actually anything good or if it's worth a damn at all. And uh, I've heard some good things about this company and their RMA service and their return service. So hopefully this goes well. So let's roll the intro and we'll get right into it. Let's go. Are you tired of installing Windows 10 on your PC and seeing this? Only to figure out that you have to pay this to get rid of it? Well, our sponsor URCDKey has you covered. URCDKey has tons of discounted keys for games and software for PC and consoles. They even bundle your favorite OS with software like this bundle for Windows 10 Pro with Office 2016 Pro Plus at a fraction of the price it would cost you at a retail store. And if that isn't enough, you can also use my promo code RAV20 to receive an additional 20% off your purchase, bringing the price of Windows 10 Pro OEM from $15 to just 12 bucks. Activating their codes is as easy as installing Windows 10, heading to the activation page and settings, entering your code, and bam, you have an activated Windows 10 license. I use their keys in my own builds and I cannot recommend them enough. Check the links in the video description to learn more. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to have a moment of silence for my broken RTX 2080. Just, just one second. Okay, good. All right, we can put this back now. Sorry, I just felt it needed that. The thing was like $700 anyway. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and call their customer service and uh, see what happens here. I know I can do some of this online, but I'd rather actually talk to a person first and see what happens. So let's go ahead and try that. I have their number right here. Let's give them a call. So at this point right here, I am just on the phone waiting and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the next part because I had to go through their menu and wait and uh, ended up having to use their callback feature for them to call me back and uh, get me with a person. So we'll skip to that part right now. Okay, so they have me on hold and uh, there's two other calls in front of me. So I just had them call me back. So we'll pick this up when they finally call me back. Two hours later. Okay guys, so I had to flash forward to the future a little bit here because uh, so, EVGA on their calling thing, they do have an option for them to call you back uh, if you're on hold for a little bit. Um, and I was on hold for a little a little while because there was like two other callers ahead of me. Uh, so I just had them do that option. And of course, I turned my camera off and I left and went to the gym. That's why I'm dressed differently. Uh, and right as I left, I got in my car, started driving, and then of course, they called me. But then, uh, you know, I, I picked up the phone, of course, when I was driving, spoke to somebody named Daniel. Uh, he was very nice, very helpful. Um, I pretty much told him the symptoms of what was going on with the card. And uh, he and I both concluded that uh, pretty much I need to go through with an RMA on this card, unfortunately. So uh, we are going to be RMAing the 2080 and I uh, just got to send it back to EVGA. And I'm going to show you guys a quick couple steps that you got to do to start that process and uh, what you got to do. And I'll show you like the entire thing start to finish uh, to getting your new uh, card and hopefully I can help one of you guys get back on uh, your games or your editing and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get to the computer and I'll show you what to do next so the first thing you need to do is actually register your product now you should have done this when you first bought it but if you forgot that's okay I did uh, and you can still go back and register it as long as you're still within the you know the warranty period and the next thing you need to do is make sure that you actually do have an open RMA with the manufacturer so you can do this over the phone like I did or you can do it online uh, just make sure that on your account with that manufacturer you do have an open RMA with your product and then you also need to make sure that you have your invoice from wherever you bought your product from because you will need to upload that at least with EVGA you do so make sure you have that handy. So then after that they're basically going to send you a series of emails once you get everything in that they ask for and all you got to do is follow the directions very carefully and make sure you do exactly as they say and you'll be just fine. Alright guys, so based on that little PDF we read, uh, I was able to get a box. Um, actually, uh, Alex, my girlfriend, brought me a box home from her work. And it uh, looks like we're going to be shipping it in a Belgian waffle box. Uh, it happens to be the perfect size to fit the uh, padding that came with the card um, and some extra foam that I have from Amazon that I saved. So this is going to be a very expensive Belgian waffle we're going to be shipping, guys. <laughs> yeah, $700. 
Belgian waffle anyway. But yeah, so we can, uh, they, they suggest and they tell you not to actually, here, I'll grab this real quick. They tell you to not actually ship your original packaging because they won't give it back to you. So don't do that if you want to keep your box and whatnot, because I like to keep my boxes. Uh, so keep all that, keep all your cables, everything like that. Um, so basically just send the card itself, uh, put it in your anti-static packaging. Uh, and then just, I would suggest using this because they do suggest putting like two inches of padding around the card itself. Uh, and this thing is like perfect for that. And really you don't need to keep this for any reason because they're going to ship you, ship you back your car, new card with something like this anyway. So uh, I would suggest just putting it back in this, getting a box to fit. And uh, yeah, this box right here, it seems to fit perfectly. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put the card in this box real quick and uh, continue from here. Okay, guys, so the card's in. Uh, I think this is going to do just fine. Look at that. It's packed down perfectly. Uh, let me close the box here. Look at this. I think, yeah, this will be just perfect. Do that. Close this. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. But anyway, yeah. I think this is going to be just fine. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Nothing's popping out. It doesn't feel like it's going to shift around too much. Um, that extra little thing or two that I put in the box right here uh, is gonna help it out just fine. Uh, and I think with the padding, it'll be fine. Just, you know, and shipping and everything like that. And that's really where I gotta, gotta stop right now, guys, until I uh, ship this thing away and uh, figure out when they're gonna send it back to me. So I will have to pick this up in uh, three to six days. So we'll see you then. Eventually. Okay, guys, so now it's been a few days and we are uh, in the new house, obviously. So what had happened was when I was waiting on this thing to show up, we were actually, it was, it showed up literally like the day we decided to, that we had to move. Uh, we got our keys to our new place and then this thing showed up and luckily uh, I was there to grab it. So that's pretty cool. So uh, EVGA honestly has been really awesome throughout the whole process. Like I've said, uh, this thing showed up exactly when they said it was going to be no delays, no nothing, even with the holiday season and all the snow and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what they ship it back to you in and uh, kind of make sure that I got the right card actually. So let's go ahead. I already opened it obviously just to make sure that it was what I thought it was. Um, but yeah, so they just put it in a box, you know, the size of a graphics card obviously. And then uh, so upon opening, there's some uh, bubble wrap right there on top of it. So they make sure that it's definitely secure. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, so we'll go ahead and just take this out, get rid of the box here. Um, so yeah, so they actually put it back into like a graphics card box, it looks like. Uh, they specifically say on their site that they're not going to ship it back in the, uh, the original manufacturer packaging if you send it to them, so make sure you don't do that. Uh, but they list that all when you do your RMA. Uh, so they actually did ship it back in an EVGA box and everything. Oh, and it looks like the foam that I shipped it in is uh, still in there. Either that or they just used their own. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can get this out. It's in here like really tight. Yep. It's like really in there. Let me make sure I get this out without breaking my graphics card. Okay. So yeah, that thing is very securely packaged. I really appreciate them for doing that. So there you go. There's a little cutout right there. And uh, when you get your 2080 or RTX 2080, this is how they come anyway from EVGA. They're just in this really solid um, foam wrapping. So there's nothing can happen to this, honestly. So this is probably the best way they could have shipped it back to you. Um, and that's pretty awesome to see. They didn't just put some bubble wrap in there and just call it good. Uh, this thing is super secure. So for a, uh, you know, uh, originally, I forget how much I paid with tax. It was like $700. I mean, obviously they're a little cheaper now, uh, but you know, for an expensive graphics card, let's just call it that. Uh, awesome to see that they take care of your product when they actually say, send it back to you. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and take this thing out. So yeah, they put it back in the anti-static bag. It looks like they used my original stuff. Like this must have been what I shipped them in. And then I did include this bag as well. And I think they just reclosed it. So it's resealed um, by them. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, you just, we can just open this thing up and uh, check it out. Let's get this thing out of its anti-static bag. Get that out of the way. And it is indeed an RTX 2080, guys. I did not get anything else. It is indeed the card that we were supposed to get. So there you go. So, uh, I mean, part of me in my mind, I was like, hmm, what if they upgraded me to 2080 Super just because? That would have been, you know, that would have been really cool, right? <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, yeah, so this looks pretty awesome. Uh, this is, I'm, I'm really glad this is, uh, this is back to me finally. So I already took the uh, 1060 out of the machine that I was using for a little while. Uh, that'll go back in the budget machine and uh, I will get rid of that thing or do whatever I want with it. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, stick this back in the machine and uh, 
see if it works. All right guys, moment of truth time. So remember, the symptoms of this thing, it was powering on, the computer was powering on, uh, the fans were spinning at like 100%. Uh, but I was getting no lighting on the card itself right here and it would not output a video signal. So let's see if this is remedied. Um, I've already pressed the power on the computer on just to make sure it turns on. So let's hit the power button and see if our graphics card actually works now. We got lights. That's our first good sign. Right there. It was not lighting up before, now it is. Let's see if we get a video signal. Uh, once the computer goes through its debug stuff codes and there's a video signal. Yes Awesome, okay guys, so it looks like it just auto detected the drivers and uh, I got back into Windows and everything's working fine uh, Perfectly good video signal nothing weird uh, lighting is lighting up as it should be and uh, I'm very pleased so overall it was a very simple experience uh, I, If you guys have an EVGA card, you'll have a very similar experience to me. Uh, I can't speak to other manufacturers, but uh Overall, this is pretty much how you're gonna end up having to do it if you do a traditional RMA. There is the option to do that collateral RMA where you get a card right away, they send you out one within a couple of days, and you just kinda have to pay for it as collateral, and then you get your money back. So that's always an option. Uh, EVGA does it, I don't know about other manufacturers. Um, I just chose not to do that because I do have an extra card already, uh, so I just use that in the interim. But uh, yeah, pretty much the hardest part for me was just waiting for the card to get back to me. You know, the, the couple days it took me to send it and the couple days it took him to send it back. But overall, the whole process really only took like six days. And honestly, that's not really bad for you to ship it to somebody and then them, them ship it back to you. So uh, overall, awesome experience. Shout out to EVGA for that, really good. Uh, they were very nice to me on the phone. I talked to the person. Uh, just had a great experience with these guys and I'm glad I have a working card here. So I'll update you guys on the card if anything else happens to it. But as right now, uh, I'm appeased. I have a new card. Uh, my system is up and running and uh, I'm good to go in the new office right now. So yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video guys. Just wanted to quickly finish this video and update you guys on the graphics card and uh, show you guys how I did this. So if you guys enjoy content like this, make sure you guys give the video a like. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it down in the comments below. And if you guys really enjoy my content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on so you can be notified of my next video, and I'll see you later.